Eiffel Asens here from Now Spinning Magazine with another little unboxing video and this one is from h and &E Records, a part of Cherry Red and it is Bog Hat. The Bears for Years from 1972 to 1975. This is six CDs. So let's have a quick look inside the box and I'll give a summary at the end. This is Fog Hat, the complete Bearsville recordings in 1972 to 1975. H&E Records, part of Cherry Red Records. And there are six CDs in here. And I'll just show you what's inside the box. They're not in any particular order because I've been playing them. There's Fall for the City, which has Slow Ride on and probably the most famous one from this period. I'll show you the booklet last of all. Fog Hat, the first album. Rock and Roll, clever eh? Rock and Roll, um, I only just got that. Um, and Energised, Rock and Roll Outlaws. And I just want to make love to you, which is single versions from 72 to 75, lots of different edits. And the booklet has a nice essay in it, um, telling you the history of the band with some single covers. And they've obviously interviewed the band as well. So nice background. I love this kind of, I love it when there's an essay like this, it gives you some kind of history lesson and perspective of what was going on and what at the time and how the music is now perceived. And then there's all the credits and the song titles at the back. So that is Fog At, the complete Bearsville recordings from 1972 to 1975. So there you go, Fog At. Um, from 1972 to 1975, six CDs. What are my thoughts? Well, gosh, I seem to be doing this a lot recently. Do you know what? I, apart from a few tracks, the obvious tracks, I didn't really know a lot about Fogat. Now, there was a box set going back a bit on Bearsville Records, wasn't there? I think they came out at the same time as the Tog Drungeon one, where everything that Fogat done was in one box. And I know some of you have already seen that I was going to review this and have said, I've already got that, so it's, it's pointless. Well, that will be true. If you've already got that, um, then there isn't much need for you to buy this. But if you're like me and you don't, then it's absolutely perfect. Um, because trying to buy these CDs on their own is actually almost impossible. Um, so this is, you know, great way of rounding them all up. Now, so what? So when I listened to it, what were my thoughts? Which one did I like the most? Well. Fall for the City was number one out of this box for me um, because it has Slow Road on it and it has obviously a lot of key tracks on here. Um, but it is, I think this is one with Terry Playing Blues on, isn't it? Yep, this would be number one out of this box for me. Okay. Number two would be Rock and Roll. <laughs> Just love that. Why? Because of the song called um, What A Shame. Now What A Shame was on a, a double sampler from 1973 called Heavy Metal and um, with some strange tracks on. I must do a separate video on that. But What A Shame, the vocal delivery, the, the, the angst in the voice and the production, this whole album to me is just magical. 1973 I was 14, that's probably why I didn't buy it. I was too busy buying Who Do We Think We Are and Has of the Holy. Um, oh, Hello by Status Quo. And, but this is great, so that would be number two. Number three would see me roll back to 1972, um, which is the debut album. Um, I think this is really, really good. And if I'd heard this, I probably would have come come along and become a Fog Hat fan, which about, this is a band that in, a, in the UK didn't really do much at all, but in America, they really did, which is why I think there was a comparison between them and Status Quo. Status Quo didn't couldn't get arrested in America. Um, and Fog Out were from Britain, and they couldn't really get arrested in the UK, but in America they did really well. Next, uh, it would be Rock and Roll Outlaws. That would be my next favourite album from this box set. And my least favourite album, but not because there's anything wrong with it, is Energised, which is the first album to use the proper Fog Out logo. And that's probably because of a track called Wild Cherry, kind of... It stays its welcome for me, but that's just me. Now the last disc, um, which is singles versions, which is the unreleased track, which is the I'm not a I'm not a big fan of these. Um, this is in America. There were always lots of stereo edits, mono edits, 
and depending on your system, I, I can never really tell that much difference, to be honest. And so the way that they put these things together is that you have the same track in the mono edit and then the stereo edit. They're, they're both three minutes, 14 seconds. For example, I just want to make love to you. And then what a shame is a single edit. Fair enough. Um, a hold to ride in, single edit, mono edit, stereo edit. And they're right next to each other. So you basically listen to the same song back to back. And these are the kind of things that I maybe they put on there for a fan who wants to have absolutely everything but it's not like an unreleased track or a few live tracks I don't know maybe it'll be a volume two or something but I know some people like those let me know what you think of, of these kind of single edit mono edits or it might have been better to put those single edits or mono edits at the end of each respective album that it belonged to and then of course you would have been one less disc in the set perhaps and whether that would have affected the price point but the price point for this is very good actually so if you're new to fog hat then this set works very well i am that guy i am new to fog hat but if you've already got the albums or you've got the bgo twofers um two albums on one cd you probably don't need to go here. They sound great. The remastering is good. Nice little booklet as you've just seen. Um, but this, you know, remember for those cynical rock fans out there, say, well, there's nothing new on there. It's not aimed at you. It's aimed at people who are discovering Fog Out for the first time. And for, for that purpose, it ticks all the boxes. And thank you for H&E Records and Cherry Red for keeping these bands alive so new fans can discover them as other releases disappear and go out of print so thank you for watching thank you for being here remember music is the doctor and the healer take care everybody please become a patron if you haven't already and i shall see you very very soon